And we are here with Nikki Jamal. Hi. <laughs> Nikki, you know, whenever I see you, you bring back very good memories. You remember in London when we had a duet? Yes. Of running exactly. scared? Yes. Do you want running scared again? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because you have so many hits since then. You've released a lot of music, you've released yes. a lot of material. You recently had a duet with another Eurovision winner, Dima yes. Villan, Azara Fest. How did that feel for you? Oh, it feels really good. You know, I like the, I love Dima, Dima because he's a really nice guy. He's a very nice guy. And since that, we're very good friends. Yeah, so it's a pleasure for me to work with him. Do you often talk about Eurovision? Because you're both winners. Do you often talk about it? Oh, sometimes, sometimes it's like, yes, when you go back to the memories, you know, all those feelings when he won, when I won, and all that. Uh, yeah, he was a singer before, so he like, his life actually didn't change that much. My one changed completely. <laughs> and do you still watch the contest? Do you yes, still watch your I do watch. What did you think of it this year? This year. To be honest, I thought the Bulgaria will win. Oh right, yes. Christian Kostov. Yeah. Okay, I really like this song. Yeah, and you like the Azari entry, Diana Hadjieva? I really liked uh, the song. I really like this song, but I wanted something more on the stage, to be honest. Okay. Yes, but I love the song, to be honest. But the reason I ask you this question is because you're also a judge. Now, Nikki Jamal is a judge on The Voice in Turkey. When you judge songs and you judge performances, what do you look for? No, I was the judge there. Yeah, that's but what I mean. It's X Factor. <laughs> oh, is it X Factor? Yes. <laughs> X Factor Turkey, not The Voice. Yeah. What do you look for in a star? Uh, not just voice. Something new, something different, something really interesting. Uh, if it's like very good voice but something the same, it's boring. Okay. Because it's uh, a lot of uh, people who's got their very good voices and all that kind of stuff, you know. So something like a who gives it, you know, shows the very good show and all that stuff. And if you had to pick somebody or if you had to pick a few people from Azerbaijan representing Azerbaijan yeah. moving forward, who comes to mind that you think will be good at Eurovision? This year, the next year. No, like next year or future years. Um to be honest, I don't know. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I didn't think about that to be honest. But what I'm thinking about is your beautiful face, which is on postage Thank stamps you. in Azerbaijan. <laughs> How did that come about? How did you end up on the stamp? Uh, the stamp? Yeah, your face. Yeah, I know. Stamp. When we won. Yeah. Yes, when we won. Yeah, we've, we've been everywhere. Whenever you go, you can buy the cup with our face, the shirt with our face. Everything was without my face. I was good enough to see my face everywhere. <laughs> and when you put it any channel, it used to show it everywhere else. Yeah. And do you still love duets? Because obviously a duet brought you a lot of victory and success in your career. If you had to duet again with somebody else, who, are, who would you choose for a duet? Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> oh, wow. If I could. <laughs> if you could you choose Jennifer Lopez. Okay. And why Jennifer Lopez? Oh, she's my favorite singer. She's your favorite singer. <laughs> and tell me, you're moving into acting now, aren't you? Yes. I do. Tell us about it. Tell us about oh it. Oh my God. You know what? It's, it's quite hard. I thought it's, it will be quite easier because, you know, we got used to you go on the stage, you sing it, you're dancing. And then like in half an hour, you go, you, you say bye, you're going. But here it's totally different. It's just you work in weeks, months go, swim, you know, it's really, really hard. But it's more interesting in some point. You know. And what will be the name of your film? Oh, it's uh, actually uh, the Kekli Goto. Okay. Yeah, it means the, some kind of um, the grass okay. for the, what they put in the tea. All right. Yes, okay. but actually it was it's going to be a completely uh, different story. It's about weed. This, they gave them a lot of weed. Yeah, it was going to be the comedy actually. And you said that the uh, experience is very different from uh, from singing. Do you think you'll be doing more of it now that you've tasted a little bit I of acting? I think so. Oh, so I you like it. it. You like yes. it. You like it. Yes. Oh, excellent. Yes. Excellent. And what was the experience for you at Jara Fest? Tell me about it. Is this your first time performing at Jara yes. Fest? Yes. Yeah. And what was the experience like? It was very hot. <laughs> hot or hard? It's hot. <laughs> It's too hot actually. It's really very hot. To I know, and you're back in the studio lights. We should be looking this way so that you can get illuminated and everybody yes, can see Yes, everyone your is beauty. like. 
no, no, everyone is wet actually. It's sweating because it's too hot here. <laughs> yeah. Nikki, you have a lot of fans on Wooey Vlogs and they always love your messages oh, of love. Thank you so much. Please look into that camera and give your fans all the love. I'll hold it. Okay, for you. all love from me, from Nikki Jamal, the winner of Eurovision 2011, to all of you guys. So, see you next time at Eurovision. Will you be coming back? I'm not thinking, uh, you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.